Guys, I'm here with Tom now, and we're gonna look at this solar thermal system. So this is pretty cool. So first, I'll tell you how this works. Like you have water coming in on this side, and then it goes out on this side into the special green pipe and into the distributed into the house. So this is basically heating water with the sun. So it has nothing to do with uh, normal solar panels or anything. It works completely independently of that, uh, but it doesn't use any electricity. So it's a perfect system to to use the natural resources we have for energy. And uh, so Tom, uh, first I would like to know if you are happy with now you had it for how long time? I think if we could have the time again with this house renovation, this would be the first thing I would buy again. Um, we had two six kilowatt electric showers um, which were causing big voltage drops on our village supply. So to get rid of that and have guaranteed constant hot water mm -hmm. free is superb. And now that we're looking for a solar system, we no longer have to factor in the fact that we're going to have possibly a 12 kilowatt load to think about. So it saves a lot of money potentially on a solar system as well as saving every day on electricity costs. Uh, have you had any thoughts about why it's not more popular, this kind of technology? I mean, you see it in certain countries that it is very popular, but in other countries not. Do you think it, it would could be become more popular uh, in Thailand? Well, I mean, topically in the news at the moment, Israel, uh, almost every house in Israel has one of these on the roof. Um, it's a technology that's been um, not widely taken up, particularly in the US, because energy traditionally has been so cheap. And it's only recently that energy rises, mm. uh, there's been rises in energy costs that people are looking for alternative ways to save. These were huge in the US in the 40s and 50s. It's not a new technology. It's a relatively yeah. old technology, but it's simple. There are no working parts whatsoever, and as you've already said, no electrical connection. Mm, so mm. it's safe and simple to use. It's the the kind of technology you want. It's a simple technology without a lot of complicated parts and blah, blah, blah. So you're likely to have very little maintenance, don't you think so? There's been no maintenance in so, the almost two years mm. since we've had it. And one of my friends in Surin, Paul, he has one slightly smaller than this, slightly different design. He's had his, I think, five years, mm. no maintenance. Yeah. And uh, you're talking about size. This is a 300 liter tank? Yes, 300 liters. Um, the knobbly bits on the top, they're pressure release valves. So when the water gets to 95 degrees centigrade, it will then just allow the pressure to mm. release itself. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're running two power showers, um, three, four faucets and two kitchen sinks off this. We've never yet run out of hot water, even when all the kids from the family are around having showers. Um, and we run a bath as well. Um, it it you, just gives so much water. For a, for a normal household, do you think they could be okay with a 150 litre tank or...? Yeah, yeah. Um, so there's 100, 150 and 300. Mm. Uh, we actually specified a 200 litre system, mm. but because the supplier was out of stock, um, they kindly offered us a slightly shop soiled 300. So for that reason, you know, we've, we've got much more than we than we mm. really need here. Mm. But um, we've never run out of, uh, of yeah. water and I don't think we would with 200 either. And we cannot even touch this. It's not that it's not dangerous. You know, somebody might think that because it's at ground level, if some kid touches this, are they going to hurt themselves? No. No, it's, not particularly. It's, it's, uh, okay. In here, never becomes hot, mm. and the actual working part of the tube is protected. Yeah, and you you did touch upon it already, but this technology is really important for off grid solar system. I mean, off grid living, you really need this kind of system. So. But of course, it's useful in an on-grid situation too. But in off-grid, where you need, really need to take off, take the peaks out, uh, this system will help you do that, like uh, Tom mentions. So that's why I'm talking about it on this channel, because if you want to ever think about off-grid, you want to think about conserving energy, using less uh, power, this is, this is the way to go, 100%. Okay, guys, take it easy for now.